to get Oregonians vaccinated is a mass clinic in Salem. And with that today, Governor Brown took a look at the effort that also involves the National Guard now. Our Lisa Balick found out that's not the only mass clinic getting underway. She joins us live from South Portland with much more. Lisa. Yeah, that's right, Elizabeth. In fact, you know, so far about 130,000 Oregonians have been vaccinated. But keep in mind, we have more than 4 million people in this state. That's why there's a hope that these mass clinics will ramp up those numbers quickly. And I found out today, ones for veterans are about to get underway as well. Did you make an appointment before coming down? I did this morning. Oregon Governor Brown getting a close look at the state's first mass vaccination site where dozens of National Guard members are helping Salem Health. Never really expected it, uh, you know, to be out here helping our community just like this. Uh, that's kind of why I joined the Guard. The state is still trying to work through tens of thousands of health care workers and first responders who are supposed to get the vaccine first. Hi. We asked the governor if these mass clinics will soon be statewide. It's part of the solution. Uh, we're, this is a very replicable model and hopefully one we can replicate in Portland and Southern Oregon and Central Oregon, but we're going to need other models as well. Other models, like the drive through clinics OHSU started last weekend. Part of the challenge is scheduling people so there are not huge lines like we've seen in other states. The Portland Veterans Administration gets its own vaccine supply and is scheduling by phone, calling vets over 75 this week to schedule a thousand vaccines at mass clinics next Monday in Portland and Vancouver. But they're running into a bit of a problem. On their phone, they're seeing unknown caller. And like many of us, when we see unknown caller on our on our smartphones, we don't pick it up. They will eventually use online scheduling. Oregon is next planning to distribute vaccine to seniors and teachers and other school staff starting January 23rd. The governor says that's about 800,000 people, but only 50,000 doses of vaccine come in each week right now. Now, on Friday, we are expected to hear more from the governor and state health leaders about what their plan is moving forward for all those teachers and for seniors. And again, as for veterans, they are told, please pick up the phone, especially starting this week. If you've got a number that you don't recognize, answer it because there's a good chance it is the VA calling to try and get you scheduled. They'll be running these mass clinics starting next Monday and going for many weeks ahead. Back to you.